Hey, what's going on everyone? I am the UP Jellicent and I have another live OU Ultra Cinnamon and Wi-Fi battle right here. Going up against Shadow Link, who if you ha haven't followed since IBA Season 2, we actually battled him in the playoffs and we battled him in the season. And uh, I think I just hit confirm with uh, 0 out of 6 of my Pokemon. Nope, never mind, I'm good. Alright, so I'm going to lead off here with my Coco because it can Volt switch out. But we're bringing a standard Volt turn team with uh, Zardui, Landorus, and Hoopa. Pretty much just to get in the heavy hitters, which are Zardui and Hoopa, obviously. So we're going to confirm here with our uh, Tabu Coco right here to Volt switch out. And uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, he has a pretty basic outfit. I mean, that always works. But let's go ahead and see what he decided to lead off with right here. Uh, probably expecting the... I don't know. He can really lead off with anything. Probably his rocker. But uh, yeah, let's see. I like his hat too. The little Pokeball. But let's see what he decided to do. He decided to lead off with uh, Dwayne, which is his Mega Aggron. So had we let off with Zapdos, that would have been amazing. But uh, this is probably his Stealth Rocker. It's probably Mega Aggron too, looking at the team. But let's see what exactly we want to Volt switch out into right here. So we can Volt switch out into Zardui. I'm really not expecting a turn one Stone Edge, but that's a really risky move. I mean, he can also Heavy Slam. I know my Hoopa can take that. What does he have to switch into, like, a Specs Dark Pulse? He has nothing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to Volt switch out into Hoopa. Because I'm expecting Rocks. And we are Specs, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll Oko this thing after the Volt Switch damage for sure. He could switch out, I guess. Uh, not sure if he, he has the Guard Chomp to switch in if he wants to not take a Volt Switch, but... He actually does switch out. Let's see if we see the guard chomp or whether we see some Magirna or something. He goes out into the guard chomp. We should we could have predicted that, but that's all right. And uh, he's going to be immune to our volt switch right now. My switch in here was 100% my lander ST, so we're gonna go directly out into that and see what exactly he wants to respond with right here. Maybe the he could just get up a rocks with this thing. I'm not really sure what his aggron set is. It could be like autotomize offensive or something. I'm pretty sure Agron gets Autotomize or Rock Polish or some sort of uh, boosting mon. And this could be like defensive Rocks Guard Chomp, but I'm really hoping it's not SD Draconium because that way he'll actually kill my Landorus, uh, even with the Intimidate, because he'll be at plus one, so. I really just want my Rocks up. Because that'll pressure stuff like uh, the Mega. Well, actually, Mega Agron will take very little damage, but. Uh, rocks up will be very useful to just pitch away at things and Zardui actually does a ton of work So we switch out here into our landers. Hopefully this goes for EQ or something We'll see right here. We get an intimidate off right now, and uh, we are rocky helmet I believe so and we actually have defog too, so He goes for the stone edge. Okay, so I guess uh, I would never go Zardui right there But that does a bit. It's not too much and uh, what I'll actually do here is just I can you turn out That's not a bad play. What would I you turn out into? probably my uh well, actually, he's probably offensive, so we can't really take hits from this thing. I think my best play here is just an Earthquake, to be honest. Or get up my rocks. What is his potential defog? He has Zapdos and Superior and Finny to defog, so... Lots of potential hazard control. He could get up his own rocks right here. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna get up my rocks to pressure the Zapdos, because if Zapdos wants to come in, which I'm assuming it's just gonna hard come in right now, he goes Tapu, uh, Tapu Finny, actually, so that's fine. And uh, I can actually U-turn out into my Zardui right here, which is pretty cool. And I could try to make a prediction. He might uh, Nature's Madness, but we got up a Rocks right here, which is cool. I checked for Magic Bounce users this time, so we're not making that mistake again. And let's see what exactly we can do right here. I'm just going to U-turn out, because uh, Zard is super free right here since he doesn't have a Rocks up. We can take... Actually, the Sun won't be up. That's a little bit of an issue right now. Do I want to go Hard Zard? We're going to go Hard Zard anyway, because uh, that was a crit. That might put him in range of Solar Beam, but we can take a Water Type move with Zard, so I'm just going to go out into it. He's, uh, I can take a Moonblaster and Nature's Madness too, so Charizard's fine right here. Hopefully he doesn't go for Surf or anything. He goes for Defog, that's probably best case. And uh, he should expect the Solar Beam right here. He really should expect it. I, I don't think he would stay in. He, we see Leftovers, which is totally cool, and uh, he might stay in, I'm not sure. Do I want to go for the Fire Blast, or do I want to go for the Solar Beam? Uh, this is tricky. He could also go, like, Superior. Uh, what would he threaten me with? He would threaten me with the Infernape, the Garchomp, any Mon, really. I'm gonna Mega Evolve, and I'm just gonna Fire Blast, man. Like, I I fully well understand he could stay in right here and just take a Fire Blast, but it'll still do a good amount, like 40%, and uh, he does stay in, so I should have Solar Beamed. Uh, Miss Perlay on my part. I'm assuming Nature's Madness is gonna come out, and uh, we'll take a bit of damage, but uh, I believe we had odd, odd HP, so we should be good to go anyway, and see what he wants to do right here. We get to see Charizard Mega Evolve, though, and I love Mega Charizard Wise design. We get up the drop so we can take any Water type moves, and uh, we actually do hit our Fire Blast, which is pretty cool. We do a bit of damage, as I said, about 40%, and we'll see if we see Nature's Madness. That's exactly what he goes for. That's fine. Uh, we take a bit of damage, and I could have Solar Beamed. I really should have done that, but... Uh, we can switch into Rocks one more time, which is really all I care about. And, uh... Maybe he expects me not to have Solar Beam. He could very well expect me to have, like, Earthquake and Focus Blast or something like that. I'm gonna Solar Beam this time, because, uh, even if he wants to switch out... 
That's fine. I, I just want to knock out this Tapu, uh, this Tapu Fini right here if he lets me, but I, I actually doubt that Solar Beam would have knocked him out the other time. Maybe he calced it and uh, saw that he lived and that's why he stayed in. He switches out this time. We'll see what he wants to bring in. He goes out into these Zapdos, so um, this is kind of a speed tie if he's offensive, but I should have I should have fire blasted again. That would have uh, been a really nice play, but we go right here for the Solar Beam, and the question is, do I bother staying in right here? That actually does some damage. I can risk a speed tie right now and go for the flamethrower. Is that worth it? We are timid, and he could very well just be defensive Zapdos. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fire blast. Will we outspeed? I'm really hoping we outspeed right here and get off a of fire blast. I, I'm not, I have no idea what his team is. I didn't stream strike him before this. Actually, I didn't mention at the beginning he's actually streaming this battle right now live on his Twitch, which I'll link down below in the description, of course, because that would be the right thing to do. But uh, I don't know whether he's offensive Zapdos, defensive, or whatever he is right now, but. He actually switches out, so good play, but something's taking a Fire Blast in the sun. And is that the Superior? That is the Superior. This thing's gonna go down if we connect. Which we do. This thing is getting... Uh, is it Sash? Potential Sash? Nope, that thing goes right down, so... Cool, we pick up a Knockout right there, and uh, we'll see what, what exactly he wants to bring out next. Probably Garchomp to Stone Edge me, and uh, Misty Terrain's actually gone, which is... Do we have any Dragon types that cared about that? I don't think so. If anything, it probably have benefited him, because... If his Garchomp has, like, Dragon Claw now, that'll do quite a bit, but... I'm definitely going to switch out my Zard, because I don't want it to... It can switch in again, and it threatens stuff like Aggron, so... No point in leaving it in, but Zard already doing some work, so Zard's already going to be the feature for this battle, clearly, and... That's going to make a great thumbnail. He goes back out into the Zapdos. Um, what are you going to do, Volt Switch? Do I want to switch out this time? I mean, we already risked it once, do I want to bother risking it again? <laughs> we don't really have great switch to this. We can go Magirna, but if he just Volt Switches, then he just gets momentum anyway. I'm just going to Fire Blast, man. See if Zard wants to outspeed. Nope, he's uh, he goes for the Volt Switch. That's going to knock me out for sure. Unfortunate, but uh, that's what it is. Um, I'm not sure if that Scarf is Aptos or what exactly he's working with. I could have made a prediction and gone Zagard, but I really didn't feel as though it was worth it. But Hoopa is still a really nice win con uh, to break through stuff like Aggron. It can take a hit from Zapdos, and we can be good to go with that. Uh, our Zygarde is also another really nice win con with like the Coil Dragon Dance and the Figgy Berry. Actually, I'm pretty, just, I'm pretty sure we're Aya Papa, but same thing. He goes back out into the Tapu Fini. Do, what do we threaten this wick with? Uh, sorry. We can go Hoopa, maybe throw off a Spec Psychic, but I, I don't think that'll knock him out. Yeah, sure, yeah, especially not after Leftovers. So we can also go... Do we have an Electric type? Do we have a Coco? We do have a Coco. But he has a Garchomp right there. I don't think that's worth... Oh, uh, this is hard. I'm going to go... Do we have Dazzling Gleam or what's our set? Do we have Volt Switch, T-Bolt, HPS, Taunt? We can go Coco and make a little bit of a prediction. We can also just go Hoopa and click Psychic if we really want. I like the Hoopa Psychic play, because I know we can take a hit from this, but I need Hoopa to take out that Zapdos later. Uh, we'll spec- we are- this Hoopa has 170 special attack, it should knock him out, right? We're gonna bring in Hoopa right here and go for it, man. Agron might even get 2 hit KO'd from the range of sad, but Hoopa's a big threat right now. And uh, we'll see what exactly he wants to switch in right here. He has 0 Psychic switch in, so I'm just gonna click it. Because we actually have Psy Shock, uh, that, that's probably better, I'm not sure- I'm pretty sure Tapu Fini's Spideff is better, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go for Psy Shock, obviously. We'll see if we knock him out, he switches out, maybe we'll see Aggron. Go ahead, he goes out into the Aggron, so... We could've predicted going for Dark Pulse, I need to start playing more offensively right now, because... This will do a good amount, and he's gonna find out that I'm Choice Specs, but... That does, that does a good amount, since he's not uh, Mega Evolved yet, but... I really should've just Dark Pulsed right there and made a prediction. But, uh, we're gonna switch out here, and bring in our Lander ST. Just because if he's going to go for rocks, I want to trade them with them. And Lander Seas is not super important right now, since we do still have uh, checks to the uh, what, Garchomp right now. So, uh, those being like our HP Ice Tapu Coco. So, we'll get in Lander right here, uh, hoping he doesn't go for like an Ice Punch. We should actually be able to take an Ice Punch if he goes for it because of the Intimidate. And uh, we'll see if he's Mega Aggron right now. I'm assuming it is. So, it's either going to be. I doubt it would be regular Aggron and Mega Garchomp, but. We'll see what exactly he does. He does Mega Evolve. I'm assuming rocks are just going to go up. But since my Zard is down, I think he doesn't like rocks a lot more than I don't like them. He wants to get rid of rocks a lot faster, so we'll see what he decided to do. Goes right for the Heavy Slam. We could have stayed in. Actually, we were locked into Sash Shock. No way we would stay in right there. Does a bit. Not that not much. And uh, what I'm actually just going to do here is just a U-turn. Because uh, he has an Intimidate on right now, and I'm assuming Tapu Fini is just going to come back out again. And I really don't want that, so... We're going to U-turn out right here. Sashok is kind of questionable. I may maybe should have gened this to have Psychic, but... Uh, oh my god, I said gened. <laughs> Let's see what exactly he wants to bring in right now. Maybe Finny, maybe Garchomp. Garchomp could be a play. Just to, He actually stays in. This is minus one, so what's your plan? 
I'm not going Hoopa because he has zero switch and He might have just gotten a Barox, who knows. Barox can come up. Uh, I can go Zygarde too. Maybe he just went for Ice Punch. But we're going to make the Hoopa play just because so we get a kill with Dark Pulse. So, I so hope it's going to come out right here. Hopefully we just see an Ice Punch, which is exactly which is exactly what we do. We can take this since he's at minus one pretty easily. I mean, obviously Hoopa doesn't have great defense, and he doesn't freeze me, which is ideal. And we're just going to Dark Pulse right here every time. I'm not sure if Finny will get to it KO'd from the range it's at when it comes in. I sh might be should have made a prediction in Psy Shock right here, but I honestly think Dark Pulse is the best play. We are Specs Hoopa, so it'll definitely knock out Aggron from this range, I think. Even Spit Off Aggron probably doesn't want to take this hit, like, any time. Yeah, I highly doubt it. Uh, did I get my dimensions wrong on the Pokeball right there? I might have, but he which withdraws the Aggron, which is totally fine. He goes back out into the Finny, so I should have Psy Shocked, but we'll see whether he wants to take this or not. Well, whether he wants to take it well. We go for Dark Pulse, and uh, it does a bit, not that much, which means he's probably a Spit Off, and he's going to get it back to above half right here. All right, next time I bring in Hoopa, I'm going to make a prediction, because this is not working out. And uh, let's switch out right here and bring in our... You can bring in Lander, his TR Magirna. He could also just... He's going to Moonblast, right? Yeah, we're just going to bring in Magirna right here. I don't care if he wants Nature's Madness. He should just Moonblast, in my opinion, because that'll put my Hoopa in range of rocks if he ever gets those up. But uh, I should have Psy Shocked. Uh, if I had I gotten either of those plays right, it would have been a lot ahead right now. Goes for the Moonblast, which is what I expected, and... We'll see. He might expect me to be Shift Gear, maybe in like an offensive set. Not quite sure what's going through his head right now, but... Let's see what exactly he wants to bring in next. Pro quite possibly the Garchomp. I'm gonna Voltage out just because Agon's also a potential play, and we still do have our Landorus to respond to the Garchomp if he decides to go out into that. He just goes for the Injured Madness, I don't care. And uh, we're gonna get out of here just fine, and we're gonna Volt Switch. Uh, he actually, that does actually does a ton because it does exactly half. We Volt Switch out, and uh, what do I wanna bring in this time? I wanna preserve my Coco as a late game win condition, so what I'm actually gonna do here is just go. Hoopa again. And I've been clicking, I've been making so, like, he's been reading me like a book. What do I want to do right here? Do I predict the Aggron and Dark Pulse, or do I, uh, Psy Shock? His Finny is so weakened right now. I'm, I'm just gonna Psy Shock again, I think. What else can he switch in right here if he really wants to make, like, a mid ground play? He has nothing else to switch in. He has to either stay in or go Aggron, I, I think. If I had Psychic, this would be great, but. No, 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 you know what? We're gonna Dark Pulse this time. I'm expecting Aggron again. Yep, he switches out. I'm glad I made that play, because he has zero switches, so it doesn't matter what. He goes back out into Dwayne, which is the Mega Aggron, and Dark Pulse will do quite a bit to this thing. He might even knock it out. This is Specs, so... Yep, down it goes. Sweet. And, uh, that thing's gone, which is great. I'm glad I made that play right there. I knew I had to start playing offensively with Hoopa, and... This might actually be the Hoopa showcase first, and it'll shoot guys Darth Zard on Thursday. Because Hoopa's been throwing off hits. He goes back out and... He goes out into the Infernape, sorry. And, uh, not sure if this is a nasty plot. It could be, like... SD Mach Punch, or it could be Nasty Blood, or something like that. I'm just gonna stay in, I think, because... I could go Landers, too. Yeah, we're gonna make the Landers play, just because... It could If he goes for a close combat, I know we can take that. He might just go for, like, uh, Mach Punch, if that knocks him out in my Hoopa from that range. Not quite sure. We get an Intimidate off. Hopefully he's physical, not special. He goes for the U-turn. Okay, that's fine. We'll get some Rocky Helmet damage off right here. And uh, U-Turn was actually a great play because that would have knocked out my Hoopa, but Rocky Helmet damage is going to be nice. And now we, he's going to bring in his Zapdos, I guess, and try to HP Ice me. I'll just let me HP Ice me. No point in preserving Lando. Especially since th since it's this week now, it doesn't even deal with the Garchomp at all. So he actually goes out into the Garchomp, so that's all right. Because this can Z-move me, but I actually don't think it knocks me out with anything else. So I'm just going to U-Turn out right here on the off champs. I could also just Earthquake. I'm just going to Earthquake on the off champs. He wants to SD up. Because we have HP Ice. If it's SD Yachi, that could actually be a pretty problematic. <laughs> Not gonna lie. He goes for the Earthquake. What? I guess he expected me to switch out right there. Uh, but we're gonna get some Earthquake damage off, which is nice. Not sure what that play was, but uh, we actually do a ton because he's Offensive Chomp. And, uh... Does he, have, does he have a switch into Earthquake? He has Zapdos. I'm just gonna U-turn out now. U-turn's fine and if he wants to go Zapdos, which is exactly what he does. And uh, he goes Zapdos, which is sweet, because now we get to get out of here and bring in whatever we want, actually. I can go... Uh, we actually get free Psy Shocks now, now that the uh, Aggron is gone, which is really big, because that's my main way of dealing with the Tapu Fini as well. So we're going to go out here into our Tapu Coco. Is he Scarf Chomp? He's probably Scarf Chomp, and that's why I made that prediction. This is Hoopa can take a hit. Uh, did he have Rocks up? 
I don't think so. This could be U-turn Zapdos too. Is it Scarf with U-turn and Volt Switch? It very well could be. I'm just gonna go Tapu Koko. That's our best play. And I'm gonna throw off an HP Ice. Just because nothing else actually wants to take a hit. And um, did we ever... We saw the Infernape U-turn, but I don't think it ever revealed an item or anything. It just took Rocky Helmet damage. I could also just taunt. I'm gonna HP Ice and hoping he's Scarf and Volt Switches out into... He actually just Thunderbolts. So we'll get a bit of damage off right here, but the fact that Tapu Koko is getting weakened kind of sucks. So my way of dealing with the Scarf Chomp now is with my either Zygarde or Landorus T. So, uh, on the off chance he wants to... We actually, we actually saw that he was Scarfed into, what, T-Bolt? Yeah, he Scarfed into T-Bolt. So, Zygarde can come out. What would he switch out into if he's expecting me to go Zygarde? He's either going to go to Superior or... Yeah, I'm going to Volt Switch. Because either way, it's a slow Volt Switch right now. And he meant to stay in. Not sure what uh, what exactly he's thinking. If he stays in and th th Thunderbolt's in good play, I should have gone Zygarde, but we at least got the knockout on Garchomp. I mean, on Zapdos right now. Was that a crit? No, that was not a crit. It just, that was probably just a higher roll. It looked like it did more than, than the first time, but we knock out Zapdos right there, which is cool. And we get free thousand, well, thousand arrows, which is flying text, what I'm saying. Um, he has 30 mods left, Superior, the Garchomp, and the Tapu Fini. So, uh, if he goes Magirna, I'll heal go. If I go Magirna, he'll go Garchomp. He could go Tapu Fini, but. No, I want to keep Magirna healthy so I don't get swept by, like, Contrary Serp. If it's, like, Scarf, so. I think Landorus is my best play, and uh, it'll force out the. I could also bring out Superior, though. I'm gonna go Zygarde. Because it can deal with everything, especially since we are DD Coil. So, Zygarde's gonna come out right here, and uh, we do have a parry. Uh, what's he gonna bring out, though? That's the question. I'm really expecting the Tapu Fini. If he goes Tapu Fini, I can Dragon Dance up and try to go for game. Which honestly might not be a bad play. He goes out into the Garchomp. I uh, was just devastating Drake. Do I stay in? Or is he gonna. What's he gonna do? Maybe Outrage? Outrage is possible. I don't think staying in is smart. Because this is one of the mods that can deal with Superior after a bit of damage. I'm gonna go here into my Lander ST. On uh, probably a Dragon Claw. Or an Outrage, either way. We might actually live in Outrage and get some more uh, Rocky Helmet damage off. I, uh, actually, that's ideal because then he'll be put in range of extreme speed. I know we'll live a Dragon Claw from uh, the percentage we're at right now. He actually goes for Outrage. We'll see if we live this. Probably not. Yeah, uh, even Defensive Landorus can't take that. That's so strong. But the point is, he's locked in. So I can go Coco right here, or I can go Magirno. Uh, what's his other mods? He has the Tapu Fini and the the superior so i have to go either coco or magirna right here i like the coco play the best if he's not scarf superior i think we just have this but what would i not come out with if i go magirna i would have to risk flur cannon so i think coco is the much better option right now and uh we're just gonna not come out with hp ice because uh that'll knock out this thing and then he'll probably go scarf superior it was scarf zap though so though would it really be double scarf i'm gonna hit in power and then if Superior comes out, we're actually just going to taunt because I don't want it, like, subseeding on me. So we knock out that thing, and we actually saw that it was not Scarf Chomp, so I could have gone anything else, too. Come on, don't be Scarf Superior. That would be, like, amazing if he's not... <laughs> if he's not Scarf Superior, that would be, like, game-changing right now, because Scarf Superior is his win con. He goes out into the, uh... Oh, it was Infernape, but did we knock out Tapu Fini? Or does he still have... Did we... Oh, no, we knocked out Superior. What am I saying? We knocked it out with Zard Y, like... All the way at the beginning. For whatever reason, this bottom screen is showing Superior that that it's still alive, so I'm not sure what's up with that. This thing has to knock me out with Mach Punch, doesn't it? Well, actually, how, does we, how do we deal with this now? Zygarde, I guess. So, we're actually in a good spot now. We're gonna Thunderbolt, and if he goes uh, for the... He, he goes for Mach Punch, this might not even knock me out. Yeah, we live that. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go for Thunderbolt right here. And uh, if this knocks him out, we win. And uh, that's Magnet Boosted, so it is going to knock that thing out. I, I said Superior so many times, and it's been gone for like the entire match. That was pretty derpy, but let's see. Uh, we'll bring, he'll bring out Finny right here, and we'll just knock that thing out. And uh, that's going to be a GG. So I really felt as though we had the matchup with this Volt Turn team this battle. And I still can't believe I thought Superior was alive that entire time. This bottom screen always confuses me, because it fades out Mons that are not dead. And then it keeps Mons alive that are... So uh, Thunderbolt's going to come off, and that is going to be the match. So nice 4-0 victory. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is going to be a Zardwire or a Hoopa showcase yet, because they both did a ton of work. 
Obviously, Hoopa came in clutch late game. That Dark Pulse prediction was big, but that is going to be the match right there. We pick up a nice 4 victory against Shadow Link. So overall, including those Draft League matches, I think we're 2-1 against Shadow Link now. So maybe we'll end up with another league. Uh, maybe we'll end up in another league with him soon, and I will save that battle video. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. If you guys do want to battle, be sure to go ahead and check out the Discord link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.